so now you know the types of video you're going to create and you know what your workflow is going to be like, the next question is, what makes a great video? There are a number of answers to this question and actually what makes a great YouTube video is not necessarily the same thing as what makes a good video generally. But there are certainly some things that will help you to make your video more successful and more popular on YouTube. So follow these tips to take your video creation to the next level. Statistically, videos on YouTube that are shorter tend to do better. And in fact, this will also help you out as it means you can upload several videos a week rather than just one. Now, how long is optimum? Well, generally, the official recommendation is that your video be between three and three and a half minutes. However, anything under 10 minutes is generally going to be fine. There's a chance you might struggle with this, however. After all, a lot of people will find that they want to cram in lots of extra information and make their videos as informative as possible. And of course, this is a very admirable objective. The answer is not to make your videos less informative or less detailed. Instead, focus on breaking them down. If you have one video that covers every single aspect of brain training, then try to make three videos instead, each taking a different specific aspect of your subject matter. Another way to make your videos shorter and more impactful is to cut out the fluff. People click on videos because they want answers to a question or because they want entertainment. Thus, your objective should be to try and provide them with those things as quickly as possible and not to fill your videos with long, unnecessary chatter. Instead, just get to the point right away. The worst thing you can do is to film a video that makes you seem like someone who is completely bland and uninteresting. But unfortunately, this happens a lot. And it's not because the people making those videos are bland and uninteresting. Rather, it's worth noting that the camera will sap energy and if you're being somewhat charismatic, then that's not enough. Be big, loud and enthusiastic, almost as though you're acting what you're saying. And you'll find that it actually comes across as being a lot less over the top when you're watching it back. You just have to increase your energy levels. Meanwhile, let your sense of humour show. Let your personality and preference come across and try not to just read your script as though you were reeling it off in an English class. It takes practice, but don't worry. This will come with time and the best way to learn is just to practice. Also, it's very important to stand out and be different. You know, Try to offer something in your niche that isn't currently being offered rather than just making a rehash of what's already out there. In other words, if you're making a fitness channel, then try to stay away from how to get abs videos. You know, they're done to death and there's too much out there already for you to really offer something new. How about posing a question that no one else has answered? Or maybe approaching a subject matter in a new way? You could create a training regime that's inspired by the movies. You, know, you could use an unusual item to work out with, or you could train in the rain. Either way, you'll be creating something that's unique and different and that means that when people are scrolling through their YouTube home, they'll be more likely to pause when they come to your offering and perhaps try it out. We talked about this a bit already, but try to make sure that your video is high energy. In other words, avoid long pauses between your speech, avoid long static shots and generally keep the movement up. And this is what will make your videos engaging and will keep people watching. With what we've said so far, you should now have a good idea of how to run your channel and keep adding new exciting content. But at first, you're going to find it a wholly unrewarding process. You'll upload your first video after spending ages working to get it just right, and then no one will click on it. If you're lucky, your first video might land you a hundred views and it will probably take months to get to that point. More likely, you'll have three views and one of them will be your mother. Then you have to make another video and another and it'll feel like you're wasting all that time and effort. Well, the first thing to recognize is this is not a waste. 
for starters, you're building your audience this way, but at the same time, it's worth noting that you'll be able to reuse your old footage. You know, there's no reason that you can't promote those old videos once you have a much bigger audience, so don't worry if nobody sees them right away. And at the same time, you should start looking at ways to help people find your videos and begin generating momentum for your channel. Now, there are a few different things that you can do here that will help. Now, let's take a look at them. Now, this might sound very obvious, but of course, making content with a very popular subject matter is going to help you get more views. And better yet, making content that has a big dedicated audience, or that is not an overly crowded audience, will help you to stand out and get noticed amongst the crowd. Let's say you're making opinion videos about computer games. A great way to make sure that you get noticed is to make a video about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic is a somewhat divisive figure in the video gaming community, but there is a huge die-hard audience for him out there. If you make a video on Sonic, you can almost rest assured that it will get thousands of views and likes just from people searching for new content on their favourite mascot. Got a football channel? Then how about making a video about a smaller local team? There won't be that much content out there on this team, which means those fans will only have your video to satisfy their appetite. Again, this can be a good way to find a huge audience and build on it. Got a fitness channel? Well, try making a video on Bruce Lee. He's such an iconic figure that nearly any video on him is bound to get tons of likes and follows. YouTube uses numerous different metrics in order to determine if a video is popular and whether it should be promoted. One of these is how long the video is viewed for and how often it gets likes. So if your videos get watched all the way through every time and get thousands of likes, then your channel is going to look very popular and you're going to see your videos climbing the ranks of YouTube. This is another very good reason to make your content shorter because it means that 3 minutes is now 100% of your video instead of 20%. Another tip is to give your viewers a reason to stick around. Tell them at the start of your video about something exciting coming up at the end, for instance. If you were trying to promote a website, then one of the ways you'd do so would be to use keywords. These are terms that people regularly search for when they use Google, and by lacing these into your content, you can ensure that Google will make the connection. Well, you can't do this in your videos because Google can't search the content of what you're saying. Well, yet. But what you can do is choose relevant keywords to add to the video when you upload it. Now, these should be things that people are likely to search for, as well as things that will make your video come up in the suggested videos at the right time. The way to get this right is to look for popular subjects, but at the same time, you want to make sure that the phrases you pick really are relevant. You know, you're not trying to trick people into watching your videos here. All that would do is to get them to turn off very quickly. If you want to find good search terms, you can use Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Now, this will tell you what people are searching for on Google. And it might be different from what people are searching for on YouTube, but it will nevertheless be similar, at least. But you can also just use a little common sense here. When you create your videos, try to think what people might be searching for when looking for that content. It works very similarly to hashtags in Instagram or on Twitter. Likewise, you can also use keywords in your video title and even in your description. In general, it's important to make sure you add lots of content to your description and write about what viewers can expect to see in the videos. Not only can this be a great way to offer more additional value to your visitors by letting them sift through the key points, but it'll also give YouTube more content to use to learn about your videos. You have a YouTube profile and this is something that can also come up in searches. So you want to optimize this for YouTube SEO, in other words, search engine optimization, 
just as you are optimizing your videos themselves with the keywords and descriptions. This means making sure you fill out your About page by adding lots of content into your description section. In your home page, you can also make your channel more appealing by adding playlists so that people can quickly find different types of content from you. And this way, you can separate your content into different categories. You can also create a channel advert, which will be a video that introduces people to your channel and encourages them to subscribe. Add a profile image, a banner image, and be sure to link all of your social media accounts as well. All of this will help YouTube see that you're on the ball as far as content creation goes, which in turn will mean your videos get more promotion. So let's say someone is watching a video in the same niche as your channel and they see your video come up as a suggested video because of the keywords you used. If you have the right thumbnail and the right video title, It'll make your video appealing enough that people just can't avoid watching it. A brilliant example of this comes from Yo Elliot. Elliot Hulse is a strength training YouTuber who talks mainly about lifting weights and getting stronger. But despite this, he's managed to become almost a household name and is well known outside of fitness circles. Why? Because of his Yo Elliot series. These feature him asking questions that viewers have. These really speak to that value proposition that we discussed earlier and talk about things anyone can relate to and benefit from. These are the things that will get an emotional reaction from people and that they will think can help make their lives better. You know, just check out some of these video titles. How to approach women. Give many orgasms. How to destroy self-doubt. Masturbation gives me energy to work out. How to confidently command respect. When is it okay to fight? You know, what guy doesn't want to give women mini orgasms and confidently command respect? Whatever you think about this kind of content, there's no denying that it certainly stands out and it's easy to see why people click on it. And even if you think it's probably garbage, a lot of people will click on it just to see what kind of garbage it is. It's interesting to see what he's going to say. You don't need to use this exact method, but just keep in mind that you can make your titles much more clickable by offering something that promises real value, that stands out, and that people will really want to hear. Finally, there's no reason you can't simply post your videos in order to share them. You know, don't be afraid to post your videos on Reddit or on Google Plus in the relevant communities. This way, you can find the audience that will enjoy your content the most and get a lot of quick views.